What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Wright State Basketball Dynasty here on NCAA Basketball 2010. We are continuing to go through Horizon League play as we just came off a big win against Detroit about a week ago. And then ever since been kind of treading water, well, lost to Green Bay, did beat Valpo, and then took a huge loss at home to Youngstown State. But we do have a really nice matchup for us that will hopefully give us some confidence before we go into rivalry week. We are playing against Weola from Illinois. You know, very famous for their term, tournament run. You know, Sister Jane. You know, all of that good stuff. But take a look at these conference standings, though. Here we are, right? You know, sitting in just about the middle. 4-4 four and four in conference play. 7-12 and 12 overall. Not good, but, you know, we aren't the worst in the conference. Loyola Chicago, on the other hand, they have won one total game this entire season. They are 1-17 overall, and this is going to be our tune-up game before we go into Rivalry Week, where we play against the number 17th ranked Butler Bulldogs. So, it should be a good game. Hopefully, it's a good win for us before we go into Rivalry Week. So, make sure you smash that like button, as well as hit the subscribe button if you are brand new. Let's go ahead and jump into these games, though. All right, so now we are ready to go for tip-off, and we actually win a tip-off for us. Let's freaking go. So now let's see if we can turn this into early buckets early on. Is Crotchy, he's going to get it for us. Hebert's going to shoot. It's going to be good, even though he had his toe on the line. This is just going to be a long two-pointer, and we got ourselves a two-point game. Now we are playing against his Wales squad. They are currently undefeated as they are able to get a bucket there. And then uh, Loyola is going to do with his nice fadeaway. I don't know how they managed to get that off, but they get that to go. And then now Loyola gets pretty lucky there too. Able to somehow get their own deflection. And they're able to get it inside. They got an early lead on us. So definitely not looking good for us early on as they're just playing pretty well as a squad in general. As Marcus Lewis picks up a foul there. So now we find ourselves down by five, and we can find ourselves down by even more if they get this drive to go, which they don't, thankfully. So now we're going to try to go ahead, run it up with our squad. We do like to play fast, of course. Colton's going to try to drive. He gets it to Patterson. Patterson gets it to go. So now it's a five-point game. On their end, they got another fadeaway. It nearly goes for them, actually. They are really embodying the inner Kobe rest in peace Kobe Bryant as Patterson he's gonna drive he's gonna kick it out to Copeland he's gonna get the free to go it's and we cut this thing down just a little bit more as now Loyola has still has a nice lead we get the steal and Patterson is gonna finish with a 40 baby we make this a three point game and on the other side they miss again so we have another chance to tie this game right back up. We're looking for somebody to pass it to. Patterson gets through and it's another great slam dunk. And now it's just a one point game. So now three in the corner. It's no good. So we're going to go ahead. Pass this ball up a little bit more. Get it to Copeland. Copeland's looking around to Eugene. Eugene to Patterson. And he gets the foul and he will get the and one. So now, but we do miss the free throw, so it's still a three-point game. Next up, Loyola, they get a deep three to go. Contested two. What is going on with this team? They've won one single game this entire year, and they are just balling out on this. Another fadeaway three in the corner. As now we're struggling against a team that we probably should be beating pretty easily, and it's simply not the case as they get another fadeaway to go. So now we find ourselves in trouble, but Crotch is going to try and get us back on track. That's no good. And now all of a sudden, Loyola can make this a double-digit game, and they're going to do just that, a three in the corner. It's a 10-point game. Oh, this is not looking good for the Raiders as they get another long two to go. They are shooting the ball extremely well today. We're going to try to cut into it with a three of our own, which is unfortunately... No good for us, but the other way, we don't pick up on the other end. So my capture card freezes a little bit, and somehow we're able to force the miss. But Copeland's going to try again, and he gets it to go this time. It's an eight-point game. 
Meanwhile, on the other end, Loyola trying to do another fadeaway, and they get another fadeaway to go. What is going on here? As now we're just simply trying to cut this to single digits. Eugene's going to pass it around. He's going to try to get one good shot to Eugene, who misses another shot. And now Loyola's going to push it up court for the last shot, and he makes it in. Oh my goodness, Loyola is simply on fire. We find ourselves in trouble. We are down by 13 points here in this first half. We need to get our act together if we are going to win this game. 36% shooting is simply not going to get the job done. All right, so now Loyola starts with the ball. They drive right up the court, and they get their own offensive rebound despite being surrounded by green. It's a 15-point game. So, yeah, definitely not looking good. We may very well lose this game if we don't get our act together. And we got to pick up the boards. As now it's a 17-point game. As now Bill Griffith, their star player with 24 thus far, misses the free throw. And hopefully this is a sparking moment for us because we need to get something going right here, right now. As Lewis is going to drive in the lane. He gets his own board, luckily, and he gets it to go. Wright State Raiders still down by 17 though as another deep free but we keep getting dominated on the boards we are just struggling with our size that I thought that was one of the strengths that we had but we're going to try to turn around as Crotchet goes up court he's able to take on two defenders and gets it in still a 19 point game though for us we need a lot of help as they get their own deflection right here not getting that help we need on defense and then a little bit later they're gonna get another deflection on the end well I thought they got a deflection on the inside I was wrong and they get the bucket anyways but now 18 point game we need some help Hebert's gonna provide it for us and we cut into his lead a little bit more as we nearly get the steal on the other end but we do get the block we will definitely will take that as we're going to try to run with it. Eugene going up court and he lays it in. A custom recruit for this series for right now. As now we are looking to cut this down even further as Loyola misses another free throw. Heber's going to take it up court. He gets it to go somehow. Surprised that they didn't call a foul on that one. I really thought they should. As they get the deflection right there and just some bad luck as we were there on defense. We just couldn't get the loose ball. That could very well be the difference. But now Wright State, we're going to try to run it up court. Crotchet going to take it a deep two and it's good. Foot was still on the line unfortunately. It only counts for two points. As the game freezes up again, just NCAA basketball 10 riding the struggle bus today. Greg Albert, he's going to pass it to Crotchet, and he's able to draw another foul. And he is going to pick up both free throws, so we only cut this to a nine-point game. And with Crotchet right here, could have made it six, but he misses. But Patterson is there to clean things up. As we're trying to drive, we're trying to make a huge run. Big deficit. Can we overcome it? We're down by seven, but Hebert... He's going to pass it to Eugene. He's going to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. He gets the fader to go. It's now a five-point game. As Loyola misses on the other hand, they're starting to choke. They're feeling the pressure. As Albert, he's going to pass it around to Meade. Meade gets it to Copeland in the corner. He gets it to go. As we have an opportunity right now to make this a one-score game. As Albert's going to make it happen for us. It's only a two-point game. We were down by almost 20. And all of a sudden, we have an opportunity to tie this game up as Greg Albert's going to drive. And he's going to lay it in. The tie ball game here is now with only two minutes left. It is all tied up. It looked like it was going to be all Loyola. They are going to run away with it. But Wright State has fought back. And we just need to get a stop. And that's not it. We do not get the stop that we need. And now Loyola has a two-point lead 145 left to go as crotchet with the three it's missed and so we need to get a stop on this end this could be huge for us he's gonna drive and it's a turnover patterson driving up court taking on the defender he nearly gets it to go as we do 
have two free throw attempts coming up. Not the best free throw shooter, but I do believe in him. He can come big in the moment as he gets the first one to go. Patterson getting ready to take the second free throw though. This is going to tie the ball game right here. Can we get it? And we do get the free throw to go, so it's now all tied up. About a minute 10 left. They miss another shot, and here we go. This is to take the, our first lead in this entire ball game. Albert in the lane. It's good. We got a two-point lead, and now we just got to play defense a little longer, and we can complete this 20-point comeback. As now we have about 15 seconds left. We're going to go ahead and try to force the foul, and we get it. As now Lewis Eugene, we have two shots here. We can make this a two-possession game with these free throws. As Lewis, he's going to take the first shot. It's good. Makes it a three-point game here with 15 seconds left in the ball game. But can we get this second free throw to go, though? I really hope that we do. And it looks like, no, it's going to be short. So they have a chance to tie the ball game here. 13 seconds. So now we got to go play some defense right now. It's all up to us. They're going to back up for the free to tie. It's in and out. And they're going to foul Greg Albert, who is one of our better players on this squad. 77 overall senior for us. Hopefully he can come through in the clutch for us as we have a one and one and we missed that free throw. Oh my goodness. We still have a chance to blow the game ourselves. And so it's going to come down last six seconds. We'll bring the ball up quickly shot in the left hand side and it's missed. We're going to come away with a win. Let's go. You love to see it. We came back from 20 down and won. Let's do. Man, what a great game that we were able to play here today. I was shocked that we were able to win that game given what happened early on in that first half. But, you know, let's take a look at these stats real quick. Corey Heber, he led us today with 19 points, also had four assists, dude. No, no turnovers, which is always really nice to see. Nathan Crotchet also had 15. Patterson had 13 off the bench. Uh, dude was really a spark plug that really helped us come back in the first place Lewis Eugene our custom recruit for season one you know he had a double double 11 and 10 Greg Albert tied the game for us he was actually player of the game which I was kind of shocked to see uh, but he did a little bit of everything and then Copeland and Marcus Lewis also had eight points and two points respectively so really nice game I'm so glad they were able to get it done I am absolutely shook right now. We had absolutely zero business winning that game whatsoever, and we somehow found a way to get it done. I'm so excited for these guys, but then it gets a lot tougher from here on out. We got Rivalry Week. That means we got Butler back-to-back. -back. We'll have them first at the Nutter Center at our home turf, and then Saturday night we go on the road to play against Butler at their place. They are the best team in the conference. They're on a 19 game winning streak and they're currently ranked number 19 in the country. So that's uh, that's what kind of double header that we have going for us next episode. So smash that like button and as well as hit me up in the comments. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new as well. This is John J Gaming on the mic and I appreciate y'all coming through. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.